If you've been to the movies or watched TV, you will have seen the person we're going to talk about today. She is one of the greatest actors of our era. She is an extremely versatile actress who is popular with people of all ages. She is Dame Judy Dench. Judith Olivia Dench was born on 9th of December 1934 in North Yorkshire, England, to Reginald, a doctor, and his wife, Eleonora. From an early age, she was exposed to the world of acting. Her father was the resident doctor for the Theatre Royal in York, and she would often tag along during his visits there. Even as a young girl, Judy showed a passion for performance. She loved to dress up and sing as her mother played the piano. Her first foray onto the stage was at the age of 16 in the York Mystery Plays, based on Bible stories. It was a family affair, with her father acting one part, her mother making the costumes, and Judy acting as a member of the crowd and an angel. Finally, in 1957, she was cast as the Virgin Mary, and she was on her way. She attended the Mount School in York, an all-girls Quaker school. She then began at the York School of Art, before changing course and heading off to London's Central School of Speech Training and Dramatic Art. She later blamed this choice on her brother Geoffrey, another aspiring actor, who also attended the school and pushed his sister to pursue stage work. I'd never have thought of acting if it wasn't for Jeff, she said. Judy began to take up movie roles in the 1960s. Her performance as a young wife in Four in the Morning in 1965 earned her her first British Academy of Film and Television Award. She later earned an international following as the star of the TV romantic comedy series As Time Goes By. However, it was her role as M, James Bond's boss in Goldeneye in 1995 that established her as a Hollywood presence. She went on to reprise that character for another six Bond films, ending with the 2012 release Skyfall. Judy Dench married the actor Michael Williams in 1971. The couple worked several times together, including in the British television series A Fine Romance and the 1999 film Tea with Mussolini. The two shared 30 years together before Michael's death from cancer in 2001. They had one child who followed in their career footsteps, the actress Finty Williams. Over the course of her career, Judy Dench has been recognised and awarded like few other actors. She holds the record for the most major entertainment awards in America and Britain, winning 18 awards and receiving 52 nominations. In addition, she was honoured with the title of Dame Commander of the British Empire in 1988. Judy Dench has an unshakable Christian faith. Judy, a Christian Quaker, says, My faith is everything, but I don't generally talk about it. Her parents were Methodists, but she attended the Quaker school, the Mount, in York. The Mount was a boarding school. They had to attend the Quaker meetings on Sundays and also attend with their brother school on Wednesdays. Judy said that she felt in the right place in the Quaker meeting house. She said, It is something about the silence, but this is just exactly what I wanted and has proved to be so since the age of 15. She also said that she is absolutely 100% devoted to the King James Bible and its language and commented that she had learned huge swathes of it. Dame Judy Dench has supported many charities and contributed her talents toward their causes. After losing her husband to lung cancer in 2001, she became patron of Women Against Lung Cancer. She also co-hosted the Unite for the Future Gala benefiting the victims of 9-11 and Doctors Without Borders. In 2007, she was entered into the National Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Children's Hall of Fame. Despite being diagnosed with macular degeneration in her eyes and undergoing knee surgery in recent years, Dame Judy continues to devote herself to her craft and still draws rave reviews as one of the most celebrated actresses of her generation. Her attitude and humour endear her to those she works and mixes with. She is respected by all and lives out her Christian faith in her lifestyle. Christians remain.